strawberries and a cup of coffee eating breakfast early because hubby is having a cup of coffee before he goes to sleep as, as ironic as that sounds <clears throat> and um, I want to be able to just go snuggle up with him for a little bit to spend some time with him before I go also I did my nails last night they're kind of sloppy but my holiday nails cute though huh so I'm trying to decide what deck I want to bring with me to work. <laughs> Not like I'm reading cards at work, but it's like I always just bring my basic Rider weight. <clears throat> I preferably like to pick a deck that has a deck bag or that I could just put in a deck bag because um, it's just easier to carry that in the purse. And some of these, like, I can't remember. I can't remember what... Oh, so that's just a basic rider weight. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what should I put? What should I put? I do have the tattoo tarot out already. I think I have that one in my purse already. Maybe I'll just stick with that one. Or the after tarot. I've been that one's been calling to me too. Something a little bit different. I really like this one because um, it's right away, but it goes, it's like, <laughs> like everything that happens after the fact. I really want to do like, um, maybe next month I'll do dailies where it has all three of them. I, mean, I did that one year. This is a guidebook that I should dive into also. Like, do you guys ever just want to read a guidebook and learn more about that deck or whatever? Like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to work with it after. That's what I hate. Like, I have a craving for a deck, but I just don't know. I just don't know which one I want. Which one do I want to take? I need to reorganize this. <laughs> This is the one that I have in my purse already. Maybe I'll just stick with that one. Nothing's really calling to me. And I don't think I want an Oracle deck. Like I love my Oracle decks, but No, I think I'll just stick with what I have. Or just, without a doubt, take a rider weight out. <laughs> Excuse me. Without a doubt, take a rider weight out. Because uh, you can't go wrong with rider weight, that's for sure. Like, you just definitely can't. Or I could take, ooh, I could take my hoi poi. Maybe I'll do that. <laughs> take you guys out. I haven't played with you. You guys are still in order too. Maybe I'll do that. I think these are the title cards. Yeah. And this one too. Oh no, you're good. Perfect. So yeah, I'll just take the hoi poi and I'll put you in a deck bag. One of these. Probably this one. I like this deck bag, but I gotta take this one out. <laughs> I have so many right away decks. It's ridiculous. Okay. Like, like there's another one and another one <laughs> and another one. <laughs> They're all over the place. Oh my gosh. So yesterday I caught Starla chewing on this. It's my little, it's a little coin purse she found. I don't know where she found this. 
I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. And she's chewing on it. I'm like, Starla, see? <laughs> she's so bad. All right, cool. Girl's taking a nap. Are you taking a nap? <laughs> yeah? Are you taking a nap? Where's your collar? You took it off again, Starla. Bad girl. Hello, Nina. <laughs> Hi, guys. Okay, uh, let's balance you. Ooh, hopefully, you don't fall. Okay. Hi guys. Good morning. It is 10:40. Um, I look like I just got out of bed because my hair is wild. Um, <laughs> this is like I slept in my hair after I let it dry, wet kind of a hair. So I have like a little scrunchy thing to put it up in a bun later, but I have to just make do with it because I did not want to rewash my hair. Um, so. Today is the day. <laughs> Today is the day. Um, it's Thursday. I have a four-day weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, I have a four-day weekend coming up. So it's like today's my Friday. Um, but it's also the day that I put in my letter of resignation. So I got to type it up um, when I get to work because I just turning on my laptop and waiting for it to load and and then hoping that the printer connects to it. It's just a, it is a battle. So I'm just like, instead of doing that, <clears throat> um, I'll just do it at work. So I'm gonna type up a quick little two line letter of resignation thing, and then talk to my, talk to my supervisor and give her the letter as like a formal, here you go. <laughs> um, I'm a little nervous about it. Like if I'm, if I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm a little nervous about it. I'm um, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. So it's like a blend of the two emotions and excited because this is like, this is it. Like literally this is it. This is, this is um, what I've been waiting for for a long, 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 long time. Um, and it's finally happening. And it's like when you finally are about to do what you've been waiting for forever, it's scary. So I'm sure all of the emotions that I'm feeling are normal, um, but that's just me. <laughs> so I'm a little nervous, but I know once I get it done and I do it, it'll be easy. Um, I'm eating a Pop-Tart. <laughs> I'm eating a Pop-Tart because it's like, it's, this is usually the time I would normally be like sitting down and eating breakfast with you guys. Like I would normally eat late but I ate breakfast like around 7.45 this morning <laughs> because my husband got home from work and that's my time to just sit and talk with him because he's still awake and then he went to sleep and he's still knocked out. So he won't wake up when I leave. I already told him, I'm like, when you wake up, I won't be here. <laughs> but um, so I, I ate early and then um, I took a nap next to him for like an hour and then I got up and got ready. So. Getting ready, literally, you guys. I, I just put on the eyebrows and a little bit of mascara. That's it. I don't have any foundation on. My eczema is all flared up on my eye. So I'm just like, I don't, I'm just not. I'll, I'll put myself together 50% today for work. <laughs> um, and then I'm wearing my evil eye bracelet today for the specific reason of I'm going to be doing the thing. And so... I'm gonna be setting intentions for it on my way home, on my way to work, just to give me a good day. Cause I'm sure, I'm sure once I put the the letter in, there's gonna be a lot of this going on with the supervisors, which is fine, it's normal. But um, I'm sure, I'm sure they're expecting this because I've kind of hinted off before, like, you know, it's a long drive, you know, I'm not going to be doing this forever. Like, I, I put little breadcrumbs here and there, but, um, so I'm sure it won't be a surprise when they find out, but I think I gave the impression that 
I was gonna be around a little bit longer than January 2nd. <laughs> um, I, I gave the impression of like, you know, mid-year or so because at the time that's how I felt, but with the way things have been and with driving and the weather, the winter is rough driving up and down. The weather and um, just the fucking gas, like the gas amount, you guys. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. So we have to do what we gotta do. <laughs> um, what else was I gonna talk about? Um, I don't know. I don't, there was something else I was going to mention. Work related and I can't think of it now. I'm sure it'll come to me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't think about it. So I'm going to get a laptop tomorrow. Crossing my fingers. Um, I told my hubby I want to go to Costco. He wants to take he wants me he wants to take me to Costco so I can get my own little membership thingy because you know how you have to have like your card with your picture on it to get in. So we only have one for him because Costco is a big it's a big store. There's people everywhere. <laughs> and I always get overwhelmed, like emotionally overwhelmed, energetically overwhelmed. Um I, I've had a serious close to claustrophobic attack inside Costco one time because there was just so many people. So my husband knows like anytime that we need something from Costco, I usually don't do it by myself. I can't anyway, cause I don't have a membership, but um, I have to have him with me. Like I can't, I wouldn't, I still wouldn't do it. Even if I get my membership, I'm like, your ass will be with me every single time I go. Cause that place is just ridiculous. It's huge. The next level below Costco is Walmart, and that's the other store that I'm just like, if I go to Walmart alone, I'm only going for one specific thing. So it's like, if I need pants for work, or if I need to pick up something real quick from the makeup area, other than that, Walmart's the other store I don't do by myself. <laughs> I'll do Target. I can handle Target, but those super, those super Walmarts or super centers or whatever they call them, and Costco, forget it. Crazy. Too many people. <laughs> um, so we're going to Costco tomorrow. And um, that's where I got my other laptop. My little red one that I have. And I've had literally that little red laptop I've had since the beginning of Cackling Moon. So it's it's old. It's a, it's a good seven, six years. And um, she's like on her last leg. <laughs> like... Every single time I turn her on, it's just like, please, 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 turn on, turn on, turn on. And sometimes the screen doesn't want to turn on, sometimes it does, and then it's doing like an update, and God forbid an update happens because then it just never finishes. Oh my God. So um, I was smart and I like saved all of my files, like all my TCM related files onto a flash drive so that when I get my new laptop, I could just plug it all in there and it's all there. But, um, it's well overdue for a new laptop. Usually you, usually you, like some people can, if you're like tech savvy, then you can probably like clean up your laptop and like if you take good care of it and stuff, it'll make it last forever, but I'm not one of those people. <laughs> so mm, it's gonna be fun to have something new. And I just want a basic laptop. Like I don't need anything fancy. I just need something to, so I could do your guys' blogs and like, handle my website and um and create things with you know like I don't need all this like fancy stuff on the laptop or whatever so something basic so and I, I just I want to buy it before the end of the year so I could use it as a tax write-off for this year <laughs> um and then what else I think that's about it with that stuff that I need. Hmm. My life is boring, you guys. I'm sure you've started to like pick up on that as you watch my vlogmas. Like, I watch. Um, I'm watching currently watching two different people's vlogmases, 
and one of them is a makeup person like a makeup guru kind of a type of a person and the other person is the one I mentioned before she's about plus size positivity and um, both of their content is just like ridiculous how <laughs> they're already both working from home so they just constantly have stuff to do all day every day they go places they have friends they have friends coming over so there's like a constant flow of like stuff to watch and I just feel like my content is just boring <laughs> so I'm trying to keep those videos as short as I can because I feel like it's just me talking and it's boring um, I'm also not comfortable with like the idea of taking the camera out and blogging or vlogging while I'm out um, one because I don't have like I have a, the little tripod so I guess I could take that with me maybe I'll take it with me tomorrow when we go to Costco um, but I don't have like a vlogging camera like these girls do so you know it's just different <laughs> and I'm just kind of like or or if I'm out and then I realize oh shit I could have filmed that real fast like a little tidbit so you guys could see what I did today but then it's like by the time I realize or remember to do it I forget and it's like it's done so I have that problem too but I really didn't do anything yesterday except stay home so sorry <laughs> um but tomorrow might be a little bit different tomorrow's vlog might be a little bit different so hopefully it'll be more exciting but literally today i'm just going to drive to work and i don't want to vlog while i'm driving because it's just dangerous so and then when i'm at work it's kind of like i'm at work so i'm not really supposed to be turning on my vlog you know what i mean like so and then by the time i'm done with work i'm driving back home and then it's like late so Today's vlog will be just this. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's really not much else going on in my life that I could talk to you guys about. Mm -hmm. I know what I want to talk about. So, yesterday... Um, I made my post about telling you guys, you know, my, that, uh, that January 2nd is going to be the last day of my day job. And a lot of you guys, I got so many comments, you guys, like, and I even put it on my Instagram story. I think at the time it was 250. And then the last time I checked, it's been, it's like a 270 to 280 comments or 280 likes. And I was so shocked because I, like on an average, my likes is usually hovering around 45 to like 70 likes in a post. That's it. Um, it's very minimal and sometimes it's even less than 40. Like sometimes it's like 20. <laughs> um, and so I'm used to that, you know, like that's just average for me. And yesterday's post was like fucking 200 and whatever. And I have never seen that many likes on a post of mine ever. I've seen hun like breaking the 100, the 100 mark. <clears throat> but I've never broke the 200 mark. So that was kind of cool. Um, but I was reading, I read every single comment that I was receiving. And I was, I was getting comments from some of you guys that I honestly thought you guys don't look at my stuff. And I think that a lot of... Like, cause, okay, cause, and I don't mean it in an, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean it in a, my profile doesn't get as many views a day. So it doesn't pop up on people's feeds as often as like, say somebody who has like thousands of profile views a day. You know what I mean? That's what I meant. And, um, and so I, when I was seeing, I was getting comments from some of you guys who are a little bit more bigger name tarot readers or 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 like influencers or whatever you want to call it <clears throat> i was just like oh my gosh so it was just really it was really nice to see um to see those comments because one it was just like to see the support and the love from everybody but two because like i said i didn't think um my content was being seen by some of you guys so when you left like when you take like a second or two seconds out of the out of your scrolling time through Instagram to leave a comment like that 
it just, it really makes a difference and it means a lot. And it meant a lot to me at least. And so it was really sweet. So I was going through like liking everyone's comments and a couple of them I was, I was um, leaving a reply back to, but most of you guys, I was just like liking all of your comments because there was so many of them. <laughs> And then, um, and most of them were just, you know, just kind of like saying congratulations or this, I'm so excited for you or whatever. And I was just like, it was just, it felt so good. Um, and it's just nice to see that support or to have that support from people in the community that are also doing the same things or similar things as what I do. And you know, what all, like we all do, we're all doing something. Um, and it's just, it's nice to see that camaraderie come out because um there's also you know there's also the negative stuff too you know in, in, within the community and it's a little unfortunate that that is there but it's it's human nature to be that way i just noticed my poor little plant i need to water you <laughs> i'll water you after my video um it's human nature to to compare ourselves to other people it's human nature to want to be popular. I hate, I don't like that word. I hate that word, but it, it is. It's just like when you were like in elementary school. Like when I was in elementary school, I always wanted to be the popular girl. And I never was. I was always the dorky girl or the, the smart girl that always got her homework done on time. Like, you know what I mean? And so it's the same thing in these communities. It's like you strive for popularity or you strive for recognition or you strive for likes or you strive for comments and stuff or just to feel included or just to feel noticed, I guess is a good word. Um, and I have to say it does, it feels good when you are noticed or when you have people that no, don't normally comment on your stuff and they do. It is it is kind of nice because you're like, holy shit, like they just took time out of their day to comment on my post or they support what I do or they, whatever. And it does, it feels good. Um, but, sorry, I gotta like put my thigh up, okay. Um, but it is also, it's easy to fall into a more toxic, um, a toxic approach to craving that all the time. And I think that some people do fall into that and that you become so consumed with, I wish you would like my stuff more. I wish you would comment on my posts more. I wish so-and-so would promote me. I wish this, I wish that. And it's like, it, it, it's, it's almost like you, you place your own insecurities on someone else and you make it everyone else's responsibility to lift you up or to enhance your work, your products, your page, your whatever. And when you give that authority away to other people, you will never be happy. And I think that that is like <laughs> a big lesson because it's, it's definitely a lesson that I've learned repeatedly. Um, when you give that authority and when you give that responsibility, which should be your own responsibility to other people and you, re you rely on other people for your happiness or you rely on other people to make you feel accepted or to make you feel um, that you are worthy of your work, um, there will never be happiness because people are not always going to fulfill those things that you want them to fulfill because it's not their responsibility. And... There's, there's something that took place recently and I'm, I'm not going to get into it, but that's where that came from. And I just feel like when we have expectations on people, we're always, you're always going to be nine times out of 10, you're going to be disappointed because people, other people will never live up to your standards of like, how do you, how you want to be treated or how you want to be this and that. Um, we could always like find <laughs> we could always find something wrong with another person um but it when it it's just it's to me it's just like when you rely on that person or people or community to bring you up and to to constantly pr promote you and constantly comment on your posts and this and that you'll always be disappointed
because it'll never feel enough. Um, I mean, it's a very toxic and it's a very sad way to be because to me, it's like, if you are a creator, an influencer, a reader, a healer, whatever you want to call yourself within, with it, and I'm talking just within this tarot community or spiritual community or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's your responsibility to be responsible for your stuff, for your shit, right? Um, it's nice to get likes on posts. Hell yeah, it is. I felt that yesterday. Um, but yesterday was one day out of 365 days in the year that I got 200 plus likes on a post. I made a deal out of it yesterday or today when I'm talking about it because it felt good. Yeah, it felt good. But, it, but on average, like I told you, my likes float in the low numbers. Usually it's always below 100. I never really hit 100 unless it's like a bomb ass post, you know? That's just the way it is. And, it, and it's like if I focus so much on that, I'll constantly be like shitting on myself because I'll feel like I'm never good enough or I'm not doing enough, you know? And it's so easy to put the blame on other people and it's so easy to put the expectation on other people and, and, and to pass along your what should be your responsibility to other people and use those people as a scapegoat. Um, it's easy to do that. That's the, that's the easy way to go. <clears throat> and it's wrong, you know, it's wrong. And, and, and to me, it's like if you're constantly looking for other people's approval, other people's other people to do the work for you, you're never gonna be happy. You're never gonna be satisfied and your work is not authentic. That's the way I see it. And so, um, yeah, <laughs> like that was something I wanted to talk about too because that was a big deal for me yesterday and, and I'm proud of myself, like, I'm proud of myself and I, and I made sure I said so in my post. Um, sometimes I could, I guess I could come off as like, Oh, like Rachel's tooting her own horn or she's, you know, she's just talking about herself all the time. Well, it's fucking my channel. It's my YouTube channel. So who else am I going to talk about? <laughs> but also it's like, I'm, I'm freaking proud of myself. Like I'm really proud of how far I came. And so I feel like, yeah, I, I want to, you know, make light of the fact that I got a lot of likes and a lot of comments on that post. It felt good because I feel like I deserve that. Um, but I, it's not gonna be like, okay, well now that I see the potential that 275 people can like my post now, I expect 275 people to like my post from now on. Like, that's bullshit. Like, that's not gonna happen. I think today, like, my daily post is back down to only 40 likes. Like that's just, that's just my average number. And, and it'll, it'll go up. Like I could, I could increase it based on changing maybe my content or changing like my approach to social media or one day, you know, getting a little bit more, um, public recognition and stuff, but it's not, it doesn't define my ability to be a bomb ass reader. It doesn't define it, literally like 40 likes on a post or 200 or 2000. I'm still me. I'm still me. So, and then, um, it really is true. You guys like treat other people how you want to be treated. And if you're constantly putting out the woe is me thing, People will feed, like they'll, they'll feel it, you know? They'll feel it. And sometimes you just have to fake it till you make it. That was like, <laughs> that was a piece of advice that um, someone gave my husband before. And it's true. Sometimes you literally have to fake it till you make it. You gotta, you have to act like you're already receiving 2,000 likes on your post or that you're the shit with what you do because it's, it's, it's manipulating that energy it's law of attraction, that kind of stuff. And eventually you'll get there. You know, you'll get there. It may take a while. Some people it doesn't. Some people skyrocket real fast. And some people don't. You know, sometimes we have to work a little bit harder. We have to be a little bit more patient. <laughs> and, you know, and I, and I always use myself as an example because 
it's me. Like, who else am I going to use, you know? Um, I get jealous. Yeah, I get jealous. I'll admit it. I get jealous. Sometimes I, like, I'll pay so much attention to my follower count. Or it's like, I'll, I'll be like, okay, I've been stuck at this number forever. When am I ever going to get more followers? Like, yeah, I get sucked into that mindset. But I noticed that when you are stuck on that mindset and stuff, and that those things are the most important things to you, it just, it sucks. Like, it's just not the way to be. Um, and it's so true. Like, I don't remember who it was that told me. Someone told me this. Like, like it doesn't matter if you have, like, 100 followers or thousands of followers. You, you, you're still who you are. Like, like what I said earlier, you're still who you are. But it doesn't mean that you're not a good reader. Like some, some of the most amazing readers, gems in the whole sea of tarot readers in the tarot community, have less than a thousand followers, have less than 500 followers. Like there's some real gems out there. And there's some people who have thousands and thousands and thousands of followers. And you, if you pay attention to their posts, maybe they get 10, 20, 30 likes on their post. So there's something a little weird there, right? Um, it just, it's perspective. It just depends. It depends on the person. And you could have thousands and thousands and thousands of followers and still be shit. <laughs> you're not the shit, you're shit, you know? So it just really depends on the person. And don't judge don't judge your work based on other people because it's not like you have to be strong for yourself. You got to be your own source of power. And my daily cards today were the lion and the sun card. And they were just beaming radiant cards to receive for today. And I feel like it's just a powerful energy and it's like, don't waste it on letting other people bring you happiness or other people validating your work, you have to do that for yourself. You have to own it up for yourself. And, you know, well, there will always be disappointments. That's just the way it is. That's life. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I just wanted to bring that up too because that was on my mind. And um, it was on my mind for certain reasons. And then other reasons like seeing seeing that particular post get so much attention and love. It was just like, thanks guys. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> also, I have to start getting into the habit of saying, hey guys, Rachel here. Because um, like before my videos, remember when I used to do that? When I'd be like, hey guys, Rose here. Um, I need to start that with my name, with Rachel. Because... I noticed that um, you guys are gonna feel more comfortable calling me Rachel than when when you hear me using my name more. And so I noticed that, and so I need to start making it a point, and I'm gonna try to make it a point in every single video that I put up now, that my name, that Rachel, comes out of my mouth at least once. <laughs> Whether it's in the beginning of the video or it's like when I start referring to myself, um, I need to start saying it. So if I say it more, I'll feel more comfortable with it. And then hopefully in time it'll click and you guys will start to feel more comfortable too. I had so many of you guys in my DMs literally being like, hi Rachel, my name is, and like you guys were just reintroducing yourselves to me. It was so sweet and I thought it was so fun. I have my little socks in my pocket. <laughs> I have to put them on. Um, and I thought it was so sweet and so fun because um, it was just like, we're just re getting reacquainted with one another and it's, it's just, oh my God, I had so many, <laughs> I had so many comments and so many DMs from you guys, just congratulations. Some of you guys were saying that it was such a brave thing to see and it inspired you and it felt so good because it was, <laughs> it's awkward. I mean, I'll admit, I'm sure some of you guys are thinking it too, like, Oh, it's awkward. Like I've known her as Rose for seven years. How am I going to start switching this up? And so I think that to make it easier for you guys and to start like start that transition, I need to own it and start bringing Rachel out of my mouth and into my videos so you guys hear it more. And then I, I already changed my um, 
my signature thing on my email and I changed the name on my email. So when you guys get your, when you guys get your emails from me um, with your video reading links and stuff, it starts, it'll start saying my name. So you'll see it. <laughs> but other than that, like little by little, just because I just barely came out with my name a couple days ago doesn't mean um, that I expect it to stick and I expect it to be natural and and comfortable because I don't because it's still not comfortable with me too like it's still a little it's a little weird um but that's that's that is what it's like to break habits it, you have to be a little bit uncomfortable and and everything to get to that phase of feeling really confident so we're both in the com uncomfortable phase together you guys like I'm not <laughs> I feel it too. So if you're feeling it, I'm feeling it. Um, all right. So it's already 1107. I'm going to head out, get ready to go to work, just hit the road. And, um, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for tuning in for another vlogmas and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye loves.